How can I forget that moment? It will live with me and it gives me nightmares till today. Two years back, I was invited in London for Ramadan, South London to be precise, Crawley, the location. I arrived there on a Friday, the long fast, 19, 20 hour fast. I got into my hotel, slept the morning, got up for Juma Salah, went for the Juma prayer, led the Juma prayer, came back, retired, got some sleep, and I had an address after Asr. I got into the masjid, and the Asr Salah was at 8 p.m. After the Asr Salah, the entire congregation had converged, and I gave my address, inching close to the Maghrib prayer time. As I concluded my address, I went to the rear of the masjid, where there was a sufra and some basic edibles were presented for people to open the iftar. I'm sitting on the sufra. There's a brother sitting diagonally across me. By a line whose control is my life to this 20,000 odd people, I will never dare speak a lie. It's 8.59 on the clock and we are waiting for 60 seconds to tick by so that we can open our fast. And in that 60 seconds, I see this brother in front of me turning to one side and he collapsed. Immediately people rushed out, tried to get a pulse, tried to resuscitate him, revive him. The clock struck nine, the adhan was sounded, we opened our fast, we offered the prayer, paramedics were called in, and in 15 minutes we were told he has been pronounced dead. Some dream to pass away in a masjid. Others wish for a Friday, and some hope that they fast in, and others desire it's the month of Ramadan and some walk away with it together. Suhoor in London and iftar in Jannah, a death to die for. Suhoor in London and iftar in Jannah. As the visiting scholar, I was asked to address the entire congregation because the whole masjid was gripped in somber. The next of kin were ushered in and I had to divulge and break the news, not an easy task. I set the brother down and then I gradually broke the news. Tears trickled down my eyes until today that I have that vivid memory in front of me. I said, my brother, nobody dies like this coincidentally. Share the secret of this man to me. He said, my brother's heart was a clean slate. He never harbored ill feelings for one human. There you have it. There you have it.